Hey, what's going on today, guys? Keith from Farnoff FPV here, also known as Sky Dragon. I'm going to review one of my favorite frames on this bag here. One thing I will tell you, if you like the QAVRs, these guys right here, you're going to want to stick around for this review. This is a comparable frame, one of my favorite frames. I fly this all the time, and it's a lot less than you might think. So without further ado, let's get going on the review, see what you guys, show you guys what we're talking about here, and uh, hope you like what you see. Okay, so today we're going to review one of my favorite frames that I have. Um, I think you're all familiar with the Luminaire QAVRs. These guys are probably one of the most uh, popular frames, I think. A lot of people use them. Um, they're super durable. They work really well. They're small. They're great. This is my sad little 4-inch. Uh, As you can see, the arm's kind of like, hey, what's up? It just, uh, it's broken. Unfortunately, it fell from about, I don't know, 200 feet up during a, what I call, death spiral. I had some issues with my ESCs and uh, my LUX when I first started out, so unfortunately it broke. Honestly, I haven't replaced it. I've just been flying this other frame I found, and I think uh, you guys are going to be a little surprised on this. So, this is a LHI, I believe they call it an RX220. Um, they have a couple different names in the description, but it comes to you in this little bag just like this. Let's go ahead and cut it open and see what we got in there. Um, dull ass scissors. Alright, so, as you can see, got a couple of little bags of stuff. Looks like we got a XT60 with the new style connector on the back there. Let's see if we can get that to focus in. Awesome. So we got a little bit of pigtail there. One of the new style XT60s with one of the isolators. I think that's pretty awesome. Got a uh, PDB here. It's um, looks like it's set up to be a vertical. Let's go ahead and get that out. Show you guys what that looks like here. So it so looks like little PDB here. Looks like it goes vertical. It uh, looks to have a BEC. Looks like it'll do 12 volts and 5 volts on it, so that's pretty awesome. Um, not sure I'm actually going to use this thing, but it also does come with an XT60 with the small, as you can see, it barely has the, the nubs there, which is awesome for when you put it like this. You just kind of flat solder mount it there and good to go. Let's see here what we got in this bag. So we've got all the normals that would come with a QAVR. We got some Tenchi battery, battery strap. Um, probably never going to use that thing. Going to do a bunch of little zip ties. Once again, not sure if I'll ever use those. Looks like your standard hardware bag. Your pieces that you all know, should know and love. Um, these things are pretty awesome because I'll show you here on this frame. So on this you can see how we have the little spot little standoffs these are what they allow for the quick change so let's say you break a motor or break an arm you can actually just drop these two screws here and this one the whole arm will come out you can slide a new one in and then you can put those three screws back in and you're good to go nice thing about that is is right here you can see if we can get it to focus there we go where my finger's pointing that's where your flight controller connects to um, so if you remove those two screws it still holds your flight controller in, in place and that way when you bolt it back down, you're all good to go. And then you can see here in the center, right there, it's a four-way X brace. And that's what holds these four screws in right here. Typical standoffs, and it looks like it comes with some nylon standoffs as well for your flight controller. Those are pretty handy. And feet, honestly, I've never really used these. Um, I put it on one of my builds, and then I had some issues I had to take care of. So I took them off before I even ended up flying with them. But So there's all that. And let's check out the frame here. You can see here's the carbon fiber frame all wrapped up. Let's go ahead and get this guy open here. Alright, get this crap out of the way. Awesome. So this is what you're getting with the carbon fiber frames. They look pretty decent. Um, top plates look to be about one and a half mil and they feel pretty durable here. Bottom plate, that's definitely a two mil bottom plate. Um, and then we got your arms and these are four mil arms. 
Now one thing you're probably wondering, why do I like this frame when I really like the QAVRs? Well, let me show you. So if you notice here, here's my QAVR. Here's my top plate to my LHI. They look pretty similar. The other part that's pretty awesome, let me flip it over here. Check that out. It is the exact same size, holes are in the same exact place as a Lumineer QAVR. So if you happen to have one of these frames, and say you broke an arm, like I have, instead of buying Lumineer arms, or a whole other set of parts, you can actually buy one of these QA LHI frames. I'll go through and show you guys here. Here's the bottom plate. Same exact thing. Holes are in the exact same spot, same exact sizes. Of course, these arms aren't gonna be the same because this is a four inch arm, this is a five inch arm. But you can see the holes, let's flip it back around here. Those holes match up perfectly. Same style right there. Everything is the same. Now, the best part, and the only downside to this is, if you really care about things, it doesn't say Lumine right here. They're just standard carbon fiber pieces. Nothing special. But, check this out. It is the exact same as the Lumineers there. Same hole pattern, same gap here on the top and on the bottom. They even fit into the frame the exact same way. You can even have this. I don't actually build my frames with these X pieces. I've done it before and, well, it makes the, the centers too strong in my opinion. I've actually shattered the whole center plate out of a frame when I crashed. So it broke the top part. They snapped right here, right here, and this whole part came off and the bottom piece came off and they went separate ways. But So these are cool, but I've just never done it. Another thing I really like to do with my frames is you notice here the standard QAVX builds to call for the arms to be on the bottom of the frame with this X plate on top of it like that. I like the smooth bottoms. As you can see, I have the arms mounted inside the frame. So one thing I'll show you, get this stuff out of the way here. this off to this side. So this is actually one of these LHI frames built up as a 5 inch. So this guy has a HS1177. It's the, it's the run cam swift with the 2.5 GoPro lens. I love that lens. It makes it really easy to see everything. Got a Lumineer Lux in there. Um, the Lumineer quick change power board as you can see this guy right here. If you've never heard of one of those definitely check it out. That thing's amazing. Say we break, I break an arm like kind of like this guy. I can actually swap this stuff out on the field very, very quickly. It's two screws right here on the bottom down here. You can see my servo leads. They actually plug into the bottom of the ESC. Take those three screws out, that whole arm comes off. I can switch my motor, my ESCs around, and put a new arm in, have everything done in under 10 minutes and flying again. That way, <clears throat> you don't actually have to carry a bunch of spares with you. You just got a spare frame, spare quads. You can just carry spare parts. And this guy, in case you guys are curious, it's a Luminaire Lux. It's got the Lux, uh, the Luminaire Quick Change Power Board. These are DYS 30 amp ESCs. These are DYS um, 2205, 2550, the race editions. They have the hollow shafts with the bolts in the bottom instead of the C clips. Got a Quantum, uh, let's see here and get it. There we go. Quantum 40 channel, 600 milliwatt VTX, and then the good old X4R SB right down here. Um, Everything on this quad actually is waterproofed. This was done prior to using drone dry. This whole entire quad is actually waterproofed with um, liquid electric tape. So, so far it's held up really well. Um, one of the coolest things I love about these motors is they have the uh, solder PDBs, but I don't want to waste too much time on that. And one other thing, if you guys are curious about this mount, this is a Creative Dex mount. These, are, I believe, are TPU. They're really, really flexible. Um, if you've never heard of Creative Dex, go ahead and take your time, look him up. Um, his name, I think, it goes. His name's Jared. He's uh, out of Utah. Um, amazing, amazing mounts. This is a 30 degree. This is actually for our Exami Yees, but my Yee smashed into a tree in Hawaii at Drone World, so it no longer works. I've been shoving my GoPro in there. It works, but it. Uh, not the best, <clears throat> but definitely check out Creative Dex mounts. They are well worth the money. I just zip tie them on here, as you can see. I've smashed this into God knows what. Um, I am really hard on my equipment. I kind of just fly to fly, and if I crash, I crash. It's not a big deal to me, but honestly, I've broke things on frames, and this mount just stays zip tied just like this. So, well worth your money. But one thing I want to get back to with this LHI frame, this guy right here, you're all aware, well over $100 for a Lumineer QAVR. 
The greatest thing about this, you get all this stuff here, pigtails, power boards, everything to build a, what I call an Illuminator QAVR clone. This frame on Amazon is $27. I'll go ahead and add a link in the description, um, let you guys see it, but I've been using these things for a long time. Like I said, this is a build up, or built up LHI quad, and this is an actual Luminaire quad. The only difference is they don't have Luminaire on the camera plates there. Other than that, they're the exact same style. The arms are in the exact same positions. They work really, really well. The biggest thing, if you want to have a true 100% clone, um, those of you who have QAVRs, you know that these standoffs here are knurled. They have that grip to them. Unfortunately, these are just standard um, soft standoffs. So if you really, really, really have to have a, a, a clone, get these. I know get FPV sells these. They sell them in I think like six or seven different colors. So, but definitely want to let you guys know about this. I've been flying these LHI frames for quite a while now. Um, they're amazing. They hold up really well. They take a beating. Um, this one, not so much, but other quads I have, there's chips all over this thing, and I've done probably a drop from about 200 feet on accident, and the thing stayed together. All I had to do was tighten some screws, and I was off flying again that same day. So, But I hope you guys like this. Uh, check them out. Like I said, LHI frames on Amazon, they're $27. I believe they're prime. Um, they come in and go, but right now it looks like they are in stock. I'll go ahead and put a link to those in the description as well. If you do have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I hope you guys like what you saw with that LHI frame. Like I said, it's the exact same thing as a QAVR. It's just a lot cheaper. 100 bucks versus $27, and it's the exact same size, exact same frame. You can even use those parts on the, L on the QAVR frame. This is the built-up LHI QAVR 5-inch. And here's the 4-inch. Like I said, as you saw in the videos, the holes are exactly the same, the plates are exactly the same, but why spend more money? 27 bucks versus I think 120 what I paid for this so hope you guys like what you saw don't forget to like like subscribe comment share this video with your friends and family if you have any questions please let me know glad to hear from you guys if not have a good day till next time